Hello, hello, guys. Welcome back to Gift Varsity TV. This is your host, Gift Bozekana. I say welcome again to our second episode of Serious Courses. Right. When you say Serious Courses, we are talking about courses that you are likely to find more opportunities of employment. Right. So, don't forget to subscribe, guys. We are almost on 100,000 subscribers. Gift Varsity TV, the only channel that matters in all the South, in, the only, in all the varsities in uh, South Africa. I'm not gonna say even in Africa. Don't forget to like this video because when you like this video, you increase the chances. Thumbs up. You increase the chances of it being viewed by other people. So today we are going to go to Johannesburg, Bet University. Uh, Faculty of Health Sciences, right? So what I'm planning to do guys, I'm just gonna do the 10 medical school first on all of the medical school in South Africa Shifting to another faculty and other universities as well like that like that So there's a lot that is going to happen on this channel But keep watching and with other courses I'm still gonna do try and search how would you find employment? Where can you work and all of the stuff before we waste time? We are going to focus on MBCHB or MBBCH advanced, which is Bachelor of Medicine and Surgery. But before we continue about the the program entirely, let's just watch this video that give us a, a clue of the vet health sciences faculty. You can watch. As you saw that there are a lot of courses that are under the health sciences not only medicine but there's a lot but today we are going to focus on the bachelor of medicine and bachelor of surgery so when you are hearing it it's like bachelor of medicine and bachelor of surgery it's, it's because you're getting two degrees you know so the, the program is under the School of Clinical Medicine at Vets University, right? So it's called MPPCH. Other universities, they call it MPCHP, but it's only at Vets where they call it MPC, MPPCH. And it takes six years, right? So one, two, three, four, five, six, right? If you go to seven, it's up to you but it takes six years. So if you want to become a doctor, a, a medical doctor, then after you finish, guys, right? That's where, after the six years, you can go to your area of specialization. After completing your 24 months of internship, where you are getting paid, that's where now you can start buying your car, having a beautiful house or an apartment. Now you, you can start having the, the money that you want. After the sixth year, then after you do one year of community service, after then you can choose to specialize. Within the 24 months, that's where you rotate around different specialties. 
But these are the areas that you are going to specialize in after the six years. If you choose to specialize, if you don't choose to become a GP, which is a general practitioner, a general practitioner is the one that you always see in your practice in practices there. You can even open your own practice after the the, the, the two year internship and one uh, internship and the one year community service. There is anesthesiology, anesthesiology. There is clinical microbiology and infectious disease. You can specialize there. You can specialize in community health. You can specialize in family medicine. You can specialize in forensic medicine. You can specialize in internal medicine. You can specialize in obstetrics and gynecology. You can specialize in ophthalmology. You can specialize in pathology, in pediatrics, in psychiatry, in radiology, in surgery. So in surgery, there is what? Um, orthopedic surgery, surgeon, um, neurosurgeon. There is a lot that you can uh, specialize in. After completing your what? Your sixth year and the community service and the internship. You start with the internship of two years, which is 24 months, and a community service, right? But how is the curriculum structured for first year at Vance University? It is... In first year, you're going to do integrated science for medical student, foundations of public health and health system science. You're going to do the science and art of health and learning. You're going to do person and family and community. In second year now, they're saying it's subject to change now. You do human anatomy, you do molecular medicine, you do physiology, you do medical biochemistry, and you do medical thought and practice. Then in third year, you're doing integrated basic medical, basic medical and human sciences. Fourth year, integrated basic medical and human sciences. B, integrated. Fifth year, integrated clinical medicine. A, sixth year, integrated clinical medicine. B. So. In the first three years, I think, or first two years, it's only you're in class and stuff, but you start now going to hospital when you're in your third year, fourth year, fifth year, sixth year. That's where now you become more clinically inclined and all of the stuff. And now, when it comes to the entry requirements, they say you need a level five in maths, a level five in life science or physical science. Or physical science, meaning that for you to study medicine at Vets University, you, you, it's not a must that you can have life science, but I think physical science is it's very important there. And then that's level five, level five in English. And then they, they consider the, the, the NPT, right? And what, what are they saying? They say, your metric academic results for five subjects, English, maths, best of physical science or life science and the best two other subjects right they consider the percentage achieved not the symbol achieved right the average of the five subjects carries 60 percent weight right 60 percent average of a then the other 40 percent is going to be carried by your nbt which is your national benchmark test score i hope you know your score right now you wrote your nbt so your nbt carries 40 percent and then the other one carries what a nine uh, 60 percent so in total it's going to be what it's going to be high red percent then you are given up so in order for you to stand a chance of getting to the problem you must master your NBT very well. So even the ones that I will be doing uh, will be doing grade twelve next year and all of the stuff. Make sure that you prepare for your NBT well. That's if you wanna study medicine at uh, Beth University, right? And you must write your NBT, and they consider it for three years. So there are only two ways you can get to a Beth medicine. First, those who are in grade twelve now, ne? Secondly, third year, when you have completed your degree, right? You get my point? So, I don't know the transferring process. I think you can transfer from other medical school to vets. 
but you can't say on stuff because there are two entries so when you are doing your first year when you're from grade 12 now and then you are getting first applicants right you have never enrolled at university third year this one is called the graduate medical entry so after you complete your degree as you know that medicine takes six years they allow you to study you get into third year of medicine at vets which is graduate um uh, entry medical program which is GAMP, where you have to write your physiology test your anatomy it's called webbed writing physiology anatomy and molecular medicine right and then they take the average of your degree if it's above 70 something there you stand the chance of getting into the program all of the start right right they say applicants who are currently studying or who have studied a tertiary institution are advised to complete their studies and then apply for the admission to the camp. So you can say I, I'm studying uh, ish, I'm studying some BSc there, I'm gonna go to VETS next day. No, you have to complete it. So either they choose to go for BSc and they choose to go for uh, biomedical science. But the truth is, guys, this thing are not guaranteed. That you would get into the into the program so you must be careful but i'm not saying don't go for bap through bsc route or um, biomedical science route but be careful right if you feel like you can go back and repeat your grade 12 then try apply again it's fine but get into the program they want you to finish your bsc and get good marks to get to vet but there are a lot of medical school at a university uh, in South Africa. There are about 10. So we're going to discuss about them very soon, right? So with funding, guys, your bursaries, you apply for bursary, NSFAS does fund a uh, medical uh, student and all of this stuff, right? Right. So, so for those who are, uh, who are going to want to maybe enroll now to the GAM program, they will read the camp requirements, right? Because they say you must have a biology, you must have a uh, chemistry or physics and all of this stuff. Then after you complete your medicine, you graduate, you become a doctor, you go to the, you are placed. So what I like about health science, guys, is because when you are done, majority of the students are placed. So you are given a... You are given the the, 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 the the hospital that you're going to work at. Now you start getting paid and all of the stuff. So hence many people, they go and rush and start in medicine because once you complete this course, brah, I'm telling you, your life is set. But we're still going to talk about other courses as well that you probably you've never heard about, but you can still make the same, even a, a good, more than and better than what the doctors are making. So I wish you all the best. And guys, getting level 555 does not guarantee admission. They say they look only at the average, right? So when it comes to residences, make sure that you have applied for your residence to stay at first. I think if you saw, I showed gate, there's gate, get in hall. So that's where most health science students uh, reside. So those are female, females reside there, and then males reside at EOH, which is Oppenheimer. I don't know, it's what? Is it Oppenheimer or what? It's EOH? Yeah, you will, you will see when you get it at, at Fed's University, right? So guys, to all the future doctors and future healthcare professionals, I wish you all the best with your admission at the University of the Witwatersrand, and this will be the best decision you've ever made. Don't rush when it comes to making decisions. Continue doing your own thorough research, thoroughly research, and make sure that is medicine what you want, is nursing what you want, is pharmacy what you want. Like, focus on creating research so that when your results come and the offers come in January, you don't get too excited where you make terrible mistakes. Sit down with yourself, understand your goals, ambitions, and what you want to achieve. Thank you so much for watching till this time. Love you loads. Don't forget to subscribe and leave a nice comment. We are going coming with another episode where we'll be focusing on other universities as well. Right. Thank you.